Welcome to your fan-requested Friday matchup, and you guys voted on Blessing Awadibu versus Brandon Curry. 2017 Curry? Are you guys kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow. Lots of other interesting matchups there, as you can see. I will do all of them. All you have to do is hit thumbs up on this one. Get it up to 800 likes. That's all I want. That's all I want, and I'll do all of the other requests. All of the other ones, but let's, uh, let's take a look at this one. The matchup at hand. You guys must not like Blessing Awudibu, who voted for this one, or who wanted to see this one. Brandon Curry, this was his breakout year, 2018. I think he placed 8th, as opposed to placing way down in the pack in previous years. Look at the biceps, triceps, see, balance. You see that balance? And Blessing, hey, don't get me wrong. I like those biceps of Blessing, but when you compare it with Brendan Curry, you can definitely see it lacks balance. He needs a little bit more triceps, less in the way of biceps. I know that sounds funny. Brandon, bigger set of lats, you can see. But Blessing battles back, holding his own with the vacuum pose. Now, we all like the vacuum pose. Who wouldn't like a good vacuum? Sean Ray-esque. Wheel department, not that much of a beating, really. Not like I thought. Front lat spread. You can see here, focus on the wheels for a second. Similar cuts. Similar cuts. Brandon's shorter legs, so they appear to be a little bit thicker, but not that much. Like I said, not that much of a beating. Midsection. I like uh, Blessing. Holding his own in this shot, I think. I think. There's a size of the lats there in the chest of Brandon Curry. Wow. Unbelievable. This package that he brought, 2017, I know there's Mug. I know there's Mug. You guys voted for no Mug, but hey, you guys also voted for Mug. It was Mug, then no Mug. It was 50-50. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Brandon Curry. Is he winning this shot? I think it's close. I think it's close. Turn to the side. Side chestal development. Now, this is where Brandon Curry, he starts going, weep, 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 weep. This is Curry. This is Blessing. Anyway, Blessing's legs actually holding their own as far as the size. And he was uh, criticized about that. So was Curry. So was Curry. So I guess they're kind of on the level playing field in that sense. But when you look at how dry it is, you have to really take a close look. See how dry Brandon Curry's wheels are? He's probably winning in that sense. But I mean, what's what's the point of even discussing it? Look at the upper bodies. Big man's chest. Brandon Curry. I like how Blessing is posing. He's, he's doing everything he can. Kane. Can. Kane. He's doing everything he can with the tools that he has. Just Brandon Curry has bigger, thicker, rawer... And dryer tools as well. Side tricep. Side tricep. This is Curry's, I would say. Looks drier, like I said, in the wheels. Midsection. Man's chest. Actually, big man's chest there for uh, Blessing Awudibu. Similar arms. Similar arm development. I mean, Curry's, he's... He's holding his arm out so you don't really get to see the, the tricep itself. Whereas Blessing he can, but not that dramatic in either uh, either case. But if you do not if you do not like then this one, then Blessing has then this one. The big guy come right up with his pose. I like this one for Blessing, but it's all about hitting a pose to to T, you know, to a to a spec, hitting it the way they want you to hit it. So if you don't prefer them hitting it like this, I mean, Brandon Curry still wins it. But if you ask me, I think Awadabu is doing enough in the Chestal region, the Abel region, and the Lagal region to maybe get a, a squeak out of at least one victory. Come on. Come on. It's not going to be eight to nothing. I suppose blessings. It's not, I don't want to want to be a zero to eight. Zero to eight for Curry. But I guess we do have to turn these buses around and have a look at the back developments. And dare I say, Blessing needs some 
some condition work for sure. Look how dry Curry is. And Curry put on some size on those wheels. And I'm not mad at Blessing for size. Actually, the hamstring size, quads from behind, glutes, glutes peeled. But I mean, not as alligator skinned and super peeled like Brandon Curry is. Brandon Curry's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Glutes too. Glutes too. This was the year Sean Roden placed pretty low this year. The year before he won the Olympia. The year before he won the Olympia. Bigger calves, maybe, maybe, for Curry. Just a much more dry package. I like that back of Blessing. Nice, thick, lower lat insertions. And that's what you need to develop a really, really good back. And I think Blessing, knock on wood, he has a good future ahead of him. Maybe a Curry future. Maybe a Curry future. I think we should have did a maybe 2011 or 12 or whatever it was. Here's the rear double. Should have did the 2012 of Curry. And there's just too much meat. Too much muscle maturity. If that's a real thing. Is that a real thing or is that a myth? Muscle maturity. Is it just condition and muscle underneath? Maybe your muscles might get more mature. Now here, this one really shows showcases the size of Blessing's wheels. You see that? He did his work. He did his work over the year. Last year's Indy, he was quite slight in the wheel development. Look at the uh, adductors here. His hamstrings are touching, and Brandon Curry. You'd fly an airplane right through that. You like that sound effect? Free of charge. Free of charge. Traps on another level for Brandon Curry. Turn these dudes back around. And Blessing, you don't want to hit the regular one. He only hits this one. Come on, Blessing. He's just stubborn. He will not hit it the other way. Actually, he did. But it was a bad pitcher. So I'm, I'm talking loose. Don't talk so loose. Triple M, Mark's Max Muscle. Wow. Wow. I guess Brandon Curry... If you do not like then this one, which I do, I do, just, you know, turn to the side and hit then this one. So Brandon Curry is obligent. He, he's, he's hitting the same way, kind of. He's throwing his leg out there a la Jean-Claude Van Damme. Hmm? There's no Van Damme involved. <laughs> anyway... A little bit of foolishness on Fan Requested Friday. We'd like to maybe have one or two. One or two. Most muscular. Now these shots. So I tricep. Front double. Front lat. Maybe not the front double. Curry was so thick. But shots like this. And even in the abs and thigh. Blessing maybe get an edge, or he's, he's fending the, uh, the former Olympia champion off. He's fending him off, but that doesn't mean that he's winning. Boom! The crab position. You take a look. You got the vein here. It's not too bad. But <laughs> nothing like these guys. Look at Curry! Look at Curry! He goes so low. He goes so low that his arms are closer to you. And he has some arms to show off. Show off. And Blessing, he hits his crab upwards. He keeps his back straight. Whilst to show the abs. Because he's got some good abs. Good abs. So show what you got. If you have it, hit it. If you don't have it, then don't hit it. Anyway, guys, girls, everybody in between. We all know who won this one. One time, Mr. Olympia champion could be two, could be two. Two this year, you never know. Brandon Curry, 2017. Breakout year for him, guys. Pop the corks for him, for his career. This is where it all started. 2011, like I said, he competed, I believe. 2012, maybe. Maybe 2012. But anyway, low placings up until 2017. And then not but victory. 2018, he did okay. And then 19. 19, I think he did okay. I think he did okay. 20 he took second things of that nature all right ladies and gentlemen peace out hit thumbs up 
800 likes and we will get those other requests played for you. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. See you guys.